Well, come back to Let's Play Digimon World Next Order. My shoulder is killing me. There are sometimes when you just sleep on your side, it happens. I'm actually recording this on the day that I'll be uploading. Kind of falling behind me. On uh, recording here. Digimon World! Next order. That's because it's been a bit chaotic the past, you know, uh, two weeks or so. As I've mentioned before, you know, my dad's been ill. He's actually been in hospital for over a week now. There was a scare that happened a while ago where he was in hospital and had a seizure. And we didn't know that it was a seizure at the time. It was due to the meds there and he was given because he's got a bacterial infection. So uh, it's just a side effect that I seem fine now. It's just like at the time though it was like ugh. But yeah, so I just like haven't really got around to doing too much recording. So here we are now. It's funny because you know uh, I recorded for Little Buster the other day. <laughs> But I guess that was easier to record for, to be fair. Don't have to set up a capture card or anything. So we're back in the digital world. So we just gotta return to Nokia. Just go see a Digimon, even though I've got this one right here, but it's a different Digimon. You know, I've been playing um, Yugo GX Tag Force a lot lately. So I'm gonna ramble a bit about that because you know I tag team with freaking Jaden, right? It's like okay, let's get that out of the way and okay. let's settle down, have some food before we return to the city, I suppose. And he sucked as a tag team partner, but I think he sucked for two reasons at the very least. Well, three reasons maybe. One, the partner AI is pretty shit. Two, our decks weren't like, I didn't make a deck to uh, complement his deck, if that makes sense. Like, I didn't use similar monsters or anything like that, so I like, have support cards and shit like that or whatever for his deck. Because I want, I use my own regular deck, I was like, okay, I'm gonna like, Make a burn deck, and then I made a fiend deck, so it's kind of different to his deck. So that's probably part of the reason. And the AI being a bit shit. And what else? You know, the habit of bricking. Well, it'd be me or Jaden. Yes, don't draw the cards you need. You get fucked. I had a few times. But then when I played the game after that, I was like, okay. I battled this, uh... Obelisk blue girl named Andrea and used a dinosaur deck. And she was easy enough to defeat for the most part, but com at least by uh, Obelisk blue stats. The Obelisk blue girls in that game are freaking brutal. And I was like, I like dinosaurs, let's team up with her next. So I made a dinosaur deck, and it complemented her deck really well. And on top of that, it's absolutely broken as all hell. Probably the best deck I've made. It's it's insane. And with her on my side, we lost a few times in part two. We didn't lose a single time in part three. We only lost in part two due to uh, uh, the occasional bricking and the occasional AI being a bit dumb. This one time, she could have sent a trap card that would have allowed us to survive another turn, but she didn't put the freaking trap card down. You stupid. But seriously, I got this card, right? It's like a fossil extraction or something like that. I've got at least two of them in my deck. Wait for the plots, wait for the first dialogue, and then I'll ramble a bit more. We're back in the digital world, yay! Well, we're gonna be even more late because I'm gonna continue rambling here. It's like, yeah, it's right. So we've got fossil extraction. I think that's what the trap card is, right? It works a bit like uh, 
Call of the Haunted, except possibly more broken, because you can have multiple. And I went, I don't know if I could have had three in my deck, but I just went with two. I've got like a couple of uh, high level monsters, so you know, bricking is a potential thing to happen. Bricking means, you know, you just draw a hand and you can't summon a monster because they're too high level. But I've got like a good amount of uh, lower level monsters, it's like, you've got Gilosaurus, for example, who you can special summon, which allows you to summon another monster on that same turn, which is pretty busted in itself. For example, I've got this one Ceratopsid card that's like uh, 24, 2600 attack, I can't remember. It's a level 6 monster, so if I draw both on the same turn, I can special summon Gilosaurus and then immediately tribute it to summon a stronger monster. And that monster can actually do piercing damage to uh, defense position monsters. So if you know, the opponent has their monster in defense and I destroy that monster, it does battle damage. So that's pretty broken right there, just with that alone. And you know, got all our monsters like Saber Source has like 1900 attacker with, you know, only level 4 so I can immediately summon that basically. Got three of those uh, Jurassic Egg things which have 2000 defense and if, as long as they're on the fence, if uh, an offense on the field and dinosaur monsters on your side of the field get destroyed, it gets added like two. Um, counters to it and basically what that does is once you've gotten enough counters for any dinosaur monster in your grave hand or deck you can tribute it to summon that monster so say you go up like three dinosaur monsters sent to the graveyards while it's on the field you can then tribute it to summon what a level eight monster which is insane but Going back to the fossil expansion, that's this is what makes it insane. I, if even one of my dinosaur monsters gets sent to the graveyard, right? I can use that card to discard one card from my hand to special summon a dinosaur monster from the graveyard, right? It's like, well, it doesn't really sound all that special, is it? I mean, like, the monster you got destroyed probably wasn't good enough, right? But, you can also special summon the card you discard if it happens to be a dinosaur. It's freaking crazy. I could go out with, like, you know, that Gilosaurus, for example. One turn, it's like 1400 attacker, bam, to the graveyard. And then I'm like, oh yes, uh, fossil extraction. It's like, I'm not gonna special summon that, I'm gonna discard Superconductor Tyranno so I can special summon that who has 3300 attack and summon it from the graveyard to the Vings with that card. That is insanely broken, man. I love it, it's great. The only uh, problem with my deck is that, um, you know, it can occasionally brick and if I run into, uh, Asshole duelist, I use Jinzo, I kind of get screwed over a bit. I ain't for Jinzo, all I would need is, you know, Gilosaurus and that Ceratopsid one, and I wouldn't be able to take out Jinzo. But yeah, I, I remember losing to Jinzo because of that. I was not very happy with that. I hate Jinzo, it's an annoying guard. But other than that, that deck is freaking broken, and on top of that, I've also got like trap cards, you know, that's help out like goblin robin or something whatever which every time i you know do damage to their life points they discard a card at random from their hand that's pretty brutal got cards to do burn damage if anyone uses a spell or trap card which has screwed me over a few times with my partner's ai because yeah also black stego is a good card too only has 1200 attack but has 2000 defense and anytime it's attacked it goes in the defense position right and the AI is too stupid and doesn't seem to understand the effects so they keep attacking it with monsters that can't defeat its defense thing and I can take that out it goes to defense position they take damage if I've got that goblin robin god or whatever 
down, they have to discard a card as well. It's brutal, man. That deck is busted as fuck. And then I've also got a, like, level 7 monster. That if I have it on the field and the opponent only has defense position monsters, it can attack life points directly. It's just so much brutalness to the deck. It's, it's great. Great stuff. Anyways, now that I've uh, rambled about that for a fair amount of minutes, let's get to the plot. Oh, it's Digital World is a very good thing. I'm going to go to the next one. 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 あんたが真っ先に受け取るのは一万活躍したのはどう考えてもそうねでも誰一人欠けてもリンカーネーションは実現しなかった全員がこの世界の恩人よ救世主だどうした鈴木僕はここにいてもいいのかな<笑> またその話か。気持ちはわからんでもない。犯した過ちは消えないだろう。でもお前は罪を償うために執行者にパートナーになってもらって。How is that making up for it? It doesn't make sense to me. So, ah, uh, you know, you use the enforcer to try to destroy all these worlds by merging it all together. But hey, now that he's your partner and you. Got your shit together. Everything's fine. Dean Carnation, the BH program of Joka Shikinaka, the Digimon Tacho, Tasket Kita Janaka. Yuru Sareta Kadoka, or a Karayer Kotajanaga. Meet a great Iru Monova, Kanarazi Yurazda. Sono Torija. I am a Chio Shinshi Tsuganao to Sir Omae San no Seiji Sawa. Minani Stavari Tsar. It's Kawa.許しを得ることができるじゃろう。少なくともここにいる者たちは許しておるぞい。ありがとうございます。では、この話はここまでじゃ。祝宴の準備ができておる。今宵は盛り上がるぞい。俺たちは飲み食いできないけど、雪村た
君もよく知っている通り得意領域には危険な残骸データも数多く漂ってるだから僕はミレーの観測データをもとに侵入したデジモンを追い続けたんだけどすごく頭のいいやつでどうしても捕まえることができなかった先生やジジモンたちにも話してどうにか捕まえる方法を見つけ出そうとしてたんだけどここに来てそいつはピタリと動きを止めたんだ同時に爆発的に増大する変異エネルギーが観測されたやつは進化の兆しを見せ始めたんだいやもうしているのかもしれないうわとても危険な存在だと思うオメガモンアルター B をしのぐほどのとてつもない脅威だ情けないけど僕ではとても太刀打ちできそうにない君を頼ることになってすまないけど一緒にそいつのところへ行ってくれないか No way do yourself asshole you, I mean you know He's like I can't do it myself Dude you got the enforcer He's like oh but he's not back at all You know Estrev is like yeah but this is your chance To make up for what you did But no We have to do everything around you No problem Thank you You can そう言ってくれると思っていたよ。I probably won't be able to accomplish this right away, of course. Because I. Have I even got any decent recovery items left at this point? And on top of that, you know, it's going to be、uh, multiple fights, not like right after one after the other. So, you know, there's gonna be a few brutal battles. And as I've stated, you know, before, this will be the last、uh, thing I do for this second playthrough is basically complete this first post game side quest because I'm not gonna like 100% the game all over again for a second playthrough that was immediately after the first playthrough where I 100%ed everything out. It's, that's a bit excessive. It's kind of excessive to do two playthroughs of the same game back to back, you know, but it just kind of happens. Yats ga iru basho wa. ほぼ突き止めている I know, as for, you know, 厳しい戦いになると思うから And you know, after this let's play is completed, I'll probably, possibly,、uh, let's play Undertale, I guess, because I did say after all. So, yeah. But we've got at least two or three parts left of this one here. But even so, you know,、uh, still waiting for anything to be resolved with all that, as I said, before starting a new let's play. Because I, you know, don't. I really feel in the mood to start a new Let's Play at the moment. Just wait. Shiki, we're, we're not done with this cutscene yet. If the BH program is in the same way, the Digimon is in the same way. If the Anti program is in the same way, the Anti program is in the same way. You received the new antivirus program for so much. I'm actually here with good news. Megadramon has joined the city, yes! The Megadramon! It's like, where the hell did this come from? Since this doesn't make any sense, you think, okay, if you remember. Uh, Smoothramon and Kuzahamon set some ultimate level Digimon at us. They were like, you know, Metal Greymon Blue, Megdramon, Gigadramon, Wegarumon Black, and Black War Growlmon. 
it's like, you know, because we, we don't allow variants in the city because, uh, I don't know, maybe Digimon's racist. It's like, no, only, like, you know, the original Digimon. It's like, you can have Taumon in the city. I mean, that's kind of a bad example since he's like, a block with you. So it's going with something that's like, uh, Greymon, you know? You can have Greymon in the city, but you can't have Greymon Blue, because that's a variant. You can have Argamon, but you can't have Snow Argamon, Black Argamon, and um, Clear Argamon. You can have Toy Argamon, but not Clear Argamon. It's like, anyone that's a variant is not allowed, apparently. I mean, it was the case in the original Digimon world. I mean, I'm pretty sure that was the whole logic behind that back. You know, because the limitations are like, okay, let's just basically have the same Digimon that you can fight. But, you know, we've got the main ones to join the city, but then you've got the ones that are just generic Digimon that attack. So, for Palmon, you have Auroramon. For Argamon, you got Snow Argamon. For uh, Kunimon, you got Doka Kunimon or whatever it's called. For. Betamon, you got whatever the other Betamon is called. For Vegemon, you got uh, Woodmon and shit like that. So, you know, you basically just got copies of them that are just different, basically. But in this game, you know, you can actually do Javals with And, yeah, none of them join the city. Yet. So, yeah, that doesn't really change. Um, anyways, uh, what we've talked about. Was it the point long The point is, you know, of those ones that we fought, Megatron was the only one that was, you know, not a copy of sorts. I mean, you could argue Gigdramon, but Gigdramon is basically just, you know, a different version of Megatron at the end of the day. Pretty sure Megatron gave the best. But, the weird thing about this is, if we go back to that area of uh, the Infant Cauldron. Those Digimon will spawn back there, including that Megadramon. So, what the hell? Did the Megadramon that joined the city had nothing to do with that? Or maybe there was like, you know, two Megadramons and one of them's like, I'm gonna go to the city. It's like, yeah, you go to the city. Conformist! I'm just gonna stick with my bros. They're not allowed in the city and I'm gonna stand with them. And kick anyone's ass from the city because you're all a bunch of assholes. I don't know. He went to the lab. It seems like he has a real passion for research. He's a fairy. He's now 105. It's actually a real city now. As opposed to a fake city. Ten points. And of course the cards. <laughs> That's just terrible. Um... Vehicle training. I don't know why I even clicked on that. I was like, we're not going to be doing it any more evolving. Because, I uh, know. I mean, that would suck <laughs> if I'm not even able to get through this last challenge with my current Digimon. That would be pretty shit. Think of being granny size. I'm sure I got that. I don't think there's any. Yeah, there's nothing. Level two, we can get. Now I can check their moves. Here. Yeah, I didn't even get around to adding this. Okay, hey, what's this? Ah, that's the size statue. Right. You probably got that now. For some reason, I thought maybe be faster, but you haven't been that yet. Who knows, maybe you will in the next battle. Probably not. To Infant Cauldron, he must be at Infant Cauldron. Make sure you're ready for any... It's gonna suck. Oh boy, I've got like nothing item-wise. How are we doing money-wise? We can afford a decent amount of stuff. 
having fun, bored doing nothing in your room, the world's been reborn, but there are still adventures to be had. What do you mean, nothing in your room? Right? Are, are you breaking the fourth wall and referring to the player? Because, you know, the protagonist doesn't have their own room. I mean, can you imagine if we could go back there at the back of the room there and just have our own personal room? That'd be cool. But nope, it's all just, you know, for the aesthetic, aesthetic or whatever. You know, it's just to look nice. We can't actually have it for practical purposes. We just sleep on the floor. And by we, I just mean my Digimon. Arigatou. Shiki never sleeps. Thanks to your help, I thought you were all strange at first, but the world would have ended without you. Thanks. Oh yeah, I was talking about my sisters anyway. I told the man ah uh, everything. That's why they're such good girls. So you're like a dotting parent of mine, or a dotting sister. I'll find fine, I guess. I'm happy we have peace now, but I gotta say, I miss our adventures too. I know what you mean, Dodo. I'll never forget all the craziness we went through and the hard times. Hopefully the hard times, because I didn't really do shit without getting my ass kicked all the time. Hey, see you here, blah, 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 party until dawn now. Again, it's kind of funny how I went through uh, Bontilliamon specifically for this right here. Dark one. And yet I'm not even going to go about getting into Bontilliamon. Because there's not really much point now, we just, you know, all that's left is uh, post-game side quests, also Miri hangs out now. Hello. Little problem popped up, it seems. Well, I'll leave it to you. Different times of day, they'll be in different places. Like, Mamio might be in the metal list for a day, maybe. Or not. I forget where else he hangs out at. If he hangs out in the dimensional districts, uh, you can talk to him and he will... Oh yeah, I forgot about this, didn't I? I found something that's pretty good tickets. Nice. Thanks, man. Take it easy and don't be a stranger. Got some lounge. Is there anyone I haven't talked to that has joined the city? Let's go um, have a look at our cards. I think 121 of 540. Yeah, let's uh, <coughs> let's see. Right. Um, what was the evolution this time around? Uh, I can't remember. <laughs> Let me check. Okay, so you went go on, go come on, grab it. And then you went Goblimon, a Woodmon, a Mapmon. Let's see if we can find the cards for any of those. Um not seeing any for the uh, in training. And not seeing any for the rookies. All the champions by the looks of it. Oh, we do have Grappliamon now. We do have one card of our Digimon's evolution. And that's probably it. And what the hell is this? A follow up. No, I have never obtained Piedmon in this game. Like, as an evolution. I mean, I got 200 evolutions to platinum the game back in the day, several years ago. And I never once evolved to Piedmon. He's one of the more pain in the ass ones, because you gotta have training failures, and, you know, low discipline and stuff like that, requirements. So it's kind of a bit of a pain in the ass. Uh, I don't think it's gonna be here. Nope. 
just to grab the ammo. Go into the theater. You can see the enforcer, the dimensions, the mechanical, and the call. The diesel, I love this one. Ah. Basically, the intro. <laughs> Yeah, that's basically all we got. It's basically the intro and, you know, when the Enforcer first showed up. That's all we got. You upgrade a bit more, you get more cutscenes, but you don't get all the cutscenes. You don't get the ending cutscene, for example, I don't think. Which is a shame. I don't think Mamio ever hangs out. Well, actually, I think he does. Occasionally hangs out here. I think that's. I'm not sure if it's required, but uh, old Rena here, he has a conversation with her of sorts if she's in the city. She wants a super regen disc, super double, and full recovery. I didn't forget about you. Well, I kind of did, but you know. Uh, been busy. I'll see you as Megatron. I guess, hmm, I guess so. Oh, what? What do you know? Uh, it's cheeky. This is research, you know, research. It seems, though, that I've hit a little dead end. We are on your hands it's for the future of the city. Well, help me. Okay, what I need for my research is take one of your partners one, get them in training one, and then bring them back. Okay, go for it. I'll be very grateful. Basically, pays you for these uh, little things. What the hell are those? Freaking training manuals? I thought it was like, you know, some toast at first. I don't know, like they're books. It makes me think of uh, Edward Scissorhands. It's like Megatron's going to create the ultimate Android Digimon. I can combine items. So, you can get. Okay, super region and super dump. Check. Super region, super dump. Super region, super double, yep. Yeah. And full recovery. Full recovery. Yeah, you do have all of those, but not all of items. Too large and too. That's a pain in the ass. Whoa, whoa, no, no. Hate when accidentally click too quickly there. So that's for uh, the Super W is right? We need 10 region this just one of those. And what was the other one? Full we'll recovery disc. 10 remedies. Okay. Some expensive shit we got going there, and I've got to, you know, save money. Looks like I'm not going to be actually advancing through the side quests in this part. Got to be more uh, focused on uh, trying to get Rita to join the city, I guess, instead. Since it feels kind of incomplete without having her side quest completed. Okay, so we need... Wait, I've got no regen disc left? Really? What do you know those? I have 32 of those. So I can use one of them. Two those. And... Pretty sure Cubimon sells the other ones. Unless Tantamon did sell them and I just overlooked it. Either way it goes, you do sell these. Alright, we got three. Let's go for seven. Do 
ba do do ba do. I oh, forget if this track is in A minor or B minor. I say that because I'm pretty sure there's a B flat in that some language which would imply D minor, but it's definitely playing off A minor. So, super double disc. Okay, here we go, motherfucker. Here you go, bitch. I can imagine if he actually said that. <laughs> like, what did you call me? To the restaurant, but that's, you know, uh, cheap out on the food. It's too expensive. We need, we need the budget. Because, uh, you know, we're probably gonna need to buy more items. Might as well get in a little round of training before bedtime. Man, my side and my back is killing me. Stronger than ever. You know, a pain in the ass thing is I'm not gonna record two parts back to back here. Like I usually do. Because I gotta, you know, listen out for a parcel coming today. And don't know when it's coming, but you know, any time. Hour to God knows when. There we go. Let's go talk to Mega Gavitarimon to improve your mood a little here. There we go. Pick up some daily shit and go uh, meet Marina. Get her to join the city. Get some discipline going. Rina, you know, not very uh, disciplined. <laughs> she is like very carefree and shows no respect to anyone, honestly. It's like I've not played the game that she originates in, but you know. From how she is in this game and how she is in her cameo appearance in the Cyber Sleuth games. She's out there, personality wise. It's like, greet to one of the Demon Lord Digimon, right? By freaking jumping on their heads. It's absurd. Really makes the, uh, Demon Lord Digimon look like jokes. Yeah, why not? I mean, we are going to tech technically go to the Dimensional District at least once, because that is going to be related to this side quest. We're going to unlock the first... Um, uh, what was it? Think, uh, damn you! Um, portal thing. I forget what they're called. Dimensions. That's what. Because it is the dimensional district. 
will unlock at least one dimension. At the very least. Oh, there's Nami. Oh. Yo. So I'm asking you to do something right. So that's okay. I don't need to know the details. So it's just down to us and Shoma. He's not even waiting around for us. He'll just plug it off. I want to... You know, screw it. It's just like, spoiler, yeah, that is a Walrus Seed Man. He's lying. He's not a Mega Seed Man. But it doesn't look like we're going to actually get around to uh, addressing that. You eventually get an email from Koromon and the Mega Seedermon that is actually in the city. I'm pretty sure we've got Mega Seedermon in the city, right? I think. If not, then I will explain why we haven't got that email. But, you know, they, uh, Koromon complains that I've been littering and you confront him about it and he's like, hey, it wasn't me. And then you confront him again at another point, that's the thing. And then the real Mega Seedmon shows up and is like, This asshole's an impossible. This is a freaking war of Seedmon. And then you find him and he leaves. They die in my, you know, original playthrough. So, let's go watch that for that. She's like, Why? You've spoiled what happens. You spoiled the little side story. Weird how the Digimon just disappear when you're you know, getting serious like this. <laughs> you know, now that I've remembered to actually have Viking Aura for uh, Anchuleamon, when we get to the, you know, fights in the side quests, you know. Things might go a bit smooth because we've got the power of a, the strongest fighting move. Although it'd probably still barely do any damage from that and die. Because that's just how it goes. Now I might as well talk to you while I'm here, why not? Today's lesson is the spiny sunflower symbolizes eternity. It's a spring flower that heads smooth like a thin Partner's mood and life increase. Come back tomorrow if you're still interested in flowers. Well, that's nice. Don't know how much that increased their life by, but that's a nice thing because, you know, I don't know how long it will take day wise to uh, get through this last side quest. Let me get these mushrooms first. We know you missed out on, you know, uh, well, I don't think she even joins the city. But you missed out on the plot. Yeah. Not that you ever get involved in internal. Ooh. I mean, she does kind of get involved with the plots to an extent in Cyber Sleuth, but not in this game. It says you got him. Show me, show me. That's a super reject. That's a super devil. This, yeah, no, all the recovery is sure. Black Clint, she did. Yeah, I'm glad I asked you. You are the right choice. Let me just autograph these. What's that? No. Oh, really? I'm okay, that next train session, this one's a little crazy. I'm back tomorrow. Today you should rest up, my dear friends. Reina, are you serious? I'll be busy tomorrow. In fact, I might not even... Well, I don't know. Depends if I'm able to beat the, uh... You know, first post-game thing. Not yet, dear apprentice. Calm yourself down. And save your game because that'll do for this part of the recording. Because, like I said, I got wet. This now for a parcel. You know, I really could use a shower as well. Oh, my back is killing me, and my arm. Bleh. So yeah, we didn't actually get Rena to join the city. We came close though. You just need to wait one additional day. You know, you think this is leading up... I mean, I can't remember. Maybe it does. Maybe you do fight uh, 
helpful to either one. I can't remember. I think it might just end anti climax. I can't remember. If we do have to fight all four Zootmon, though, it should be pretty easy, if I recall. Because uh, it's going to be much lower level than uh, Digimon, we're going to be fighting side quests, if I recall. Even though he's a mega level. So anyways, see you next time, viewers. See you next time.